for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl. And she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. for this, our main event of the evening. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Catlin Fenomeno Vieira! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Keisha the Tiny Tornado Torres! Referee Herb Green Dean fight. will handle the action Green. in the octagon. Good. The tiny tornado, Tisha Torres out of Fall River, Massachusetts. And it's really been remarkable to watch her respond to some career adversity and display a new version, a more aggressive version of Tisha Torres. That is the version she wants to showcase here tonight. And had she won a split decision against Mackenzie Dern a couple years ago, might have already fought for the title. She didn't want to hear that noise. She's ready to get a finish here tonight. Trademark inside leg kick there by Torres. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar tie. She missed with that jab. Really nice job blocking that shot. Oh, nice. All right, so Kellen Vieta choosing to lean on the boxing here early. She's got some heavy hands and seems to have the upper hand in that round here in the early game. Yeah, John, for a long time we recognized that Ketlin would be one of those young fighters that had the potential to at some point challenge. And it starts with her boxing ability. Her ability to stay within herself, not overextend, and take what presents itself to her. She does a great job finding her shots, and she's doing exactly that right now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Vieta's back into full guard. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. Heavy shots, go, heavy shots. Torres is back in half guard. And now she's in mount. Nice transition. Torres is right back to the full mount. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Go Watch ahead. for the huge elbows that she's known for. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, right, it's a mount. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two athletes. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the grappling, they love a good stand-up fight. Well, she landed the flush knee right there, DC, making great use of her size advantage in this one. 20 seconds to go. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Second round, straight ahead. Stop.
respira. Olha, você está sendo muito agressivo na luta, tá? Eu tenho que você, você tem que focar. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Fieta gets hit by that leg kick. Good punch, man. Hook to the body here, blocked by Torres. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so you see some welting now on the thigh a little bit as she continues to attack that area effectively. It's a big part of the leg, so it takes a little longer to really start to see the effects of what you're doing. Right now, she's landing, but down the line, boy. She stays the course, it'll pay dividends. Circling towards the left now. That's the power there. Ooh, big shot land. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. She closes the distance and gets a single collar. Cut. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level when everything's working she is as good as anyone in the ufc tonight she is at her peak level nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly beautiful inside leg kick by torres oh big knee oh big elbow all right to so a storyline developing you see a cut has been opened around her eye She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by the eight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself. What a strike by there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike. She's got to get out to the side of the Find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing her. Big head kick! Oh, pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Two rounds in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so as this round, oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. That strike blocked by Vieta. Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways. And it's starting to pay dividends for her. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Torres. 
Oh, debilitating knee lands yet again. I've been short my whole life, DC, and I'm envious right now seeing this taller fighter realize so much success as she lands another knee. All right, a lot of visible damage on that thigh as the leg kicks continue to land at will. We'll see if she can make an adjustment here. She's got to switch her stances. I think that's the first step. They're starting to accumulate. They're starting to pile up. She's got to do something to try and change this. Right now, we're at a point now where there's no more time. She can't take that many. She's in a ton of trouble here. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice punch lands. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the... Huge connection fire there, DC. The seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook. And it has her opponent hurt bad. Look at that finisher. High punch shot. Me picked the back anchor by reaching all the way across. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have been the fight. Huge shots going on right here. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, so the bruising on her thigh continues to worsen by the minute. I wouldn't be surprised to see a referee check on her at some point here. I mean, he has to. He has to. Somebody has to do something. Because when she starts limping around, when she starts moving in a labored manner, we got to make sure that she's still capable of fighting. Her mind says she is, but what if her body is just failing? Go after her. Go after her. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, take a deep breath. Relax. It's okay. Let's get our elbows a little bit tighter this time. Throw your combinations hard and fast and get those arms. Five five minute rounds. Watching that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive relax, fight. Relax. Get your hands up for me now. Great job getting to her position. Right into that single column. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Vieta. Solid kick right there. Nice, good strikes. Keep going forward. I've never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? End this fight. End it. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. That was great head movement. Holy oh, man. Oh, shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice liver shot lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, well, now things are getting dire for her, Daniel. You see the obvious redness and the damage on that side. Got to address the body shots or this fight's going to be over. Yeah, John, she needs to address it 30 of them ago, yeah. right? Because it's too late now. Now she's been beat and battered the entirety of this fight. And we're very close to getting a finish due to body shots. Under two minutes to go. Vieta gets caught with that punch. She got that single collar tie. Nice defense by her there. She blocks the punch. I need you to pay attention. 
All right, so she finally gets the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not discouraged, stayed committed. Now she has the fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Let's see what she can do with it. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That She's got her back now. Torres getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Nice ground strikes landed by her here from top position. Vieta's back in half guard. She's stepping over in the mount here. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Vieta going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. All right, 20 minutes down, five to go. No big deal. We got a little cut. It's not going to affect us at all. Do not worry about it. I need you to take a deep breath, get out there, and get back to work. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Yeah. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Back to the feet now. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar top. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Man, every time her opponent lands, that cut's getting worse. The cut gets worse and worse. She needs to move her head, or she's going to find herself in a lot of danger. Good jab. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Gotta think she's gonna go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She does not have been able to put her out completely. I want to see what she will change to ultimately in the night. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. That one snuck in. Nice. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Try to evade so she can evade her opponent for finishing. Trying to stay in this fight. Like that. She gets space and gets some separation. Vieta's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear length that the fighter is dealing with right now. All back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes.
using a lot of good movement. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Catlin Fenomeno Vieira! All right, so Catlin Vieira keeps it going in this UFC women's bantamweight division, and given the strength of this performance and the all-around nature of this Brazilian's game, you got to think that the rest of this women's 135-pound division is starting to stand up and take notice.